Devin Booker missed the last two games with the tight right hamstring. And uh, he comes out and looks like he's ready to go because Igor Kokoshkov played him the entire first quarter, and he had a little attitude. No, he, he told Fox. He's tired, oh, of, he's tired of losing. Me. He's tired of losing. I mean, you know, Bagley comes in. He does a tremendous job for them tonight. Just a huge game. Career high, I believe, in points. And Aiden gets it inside right there. And, you know, this Suns team defensively did not fight as hard as the Kings team. And that's the reason this Kings team was able to dominate this game. They got Harry Giles, another good-looking young player. So some developing going on there. But they are out to win right now. You see Rashawn Holmes with the jam. But they bring in Alec Burks and Harrison Barnes. So they are all in for the playoffs. Well, they should be. And, I mean, this young group, if you just, just sniff that, smell that, even if they get blown out in the first round, obviously they would against the Golden State Warrior team. It's great experience. These guys are playing well together. Together. Offensively, I mentioned. Defensively, I mentioned. And you like that. And a nice team that gels together like that. Josh Jackson had a couple of moments tonight. Nice dunk. Pulled up for a three or two. And But this Suns team, are you just right there. DeAndre Ayton's going to step in there, knock that shot up into the stands, stands on his man and waits. The weak side defense is not there. Somebody gets beat, the next guy in line is not there very often for this Suns team. And DeAndre Ayton could be that guy. He could be the guy stepping in there and blocking a lot of shots. And I just don't see that defensive effort by him. Impressive dunk by the karate kid De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> Kings up 19 at the half. The Suns were only 2 of 14 from three-point range in the first half. Second half, the Kings build their biggest lead up 25. I mentioned they bring in Harrison Barnes coming over from Dallas. He had nine points in this game, but they need to close games. That's been a problem for them throughout the season, so more experience, playoff experience, especially with Barnes. Well, Barnes is good at that, and you know, even even uh, Burks, who came in, he's got some playoff experience, so that'll help him, but that young group of theirs has been good. Right there, he's... Birthday boy, Josh 22, getting out, Josh. getting out and running hard, and there, there you go. Our guy, what he did. What he did. He made a nice little layup right there. He just love it. You know, the Suns play some tough defense, but this, this, this Kings team, they're long. I mean, when you've got that guy, and he's about seven foot, and then you got Stein trying to block everything, they're going to be a, they're going to be a load inside. But uh, Bagley's a tremendous offensive talent. His motor was really big today as well. Eight and 16 points, nine rebounds. First meeting between the number one overall pick, DeAndre Ayton, the number two overall, Marvin Bagley, who missed the first two meetings against the Suns. And there's Tyler Johnson, nine points, five assists in his second game and first start for Phoenix. Well, you know, he's a nice a nice addition, but, you know, these guys just seem to play as a bunch of individuals early in the game, started playing a little bit better. And on that guy right there, it's amazing how high he can jump. I think it's that samurai Kamikaze Karate kid. band something yeah. you know, he's got going on there. <laughs> Fires him he's up, right? pretty good, man. Yeah, he is. Awfully fast and very skilled. They throw that first punch. Yeah, we were talking about uh, even in a, in a, in, you know, in a, in a, talking to you guys before the game. We knew that they're going to throw the first punch punch they're gonna come hard at us we we were not ready to accept that punch we knew it's coming but we're not we didn't take it serious so we play first half um i mean whole game basically from behind you know like and try to find that rhythm try to find that kind of little couple defensive stops and uh, so obviously their size athleticism and aggressiveness aggressiveness hurt us the whole game so in the first half i would say one team played this game so we didn't show up now second half we try to wake up and uh, to have some kind of respond, which we did. You know, if something positive about this game, we want a second half, but it's not good enough. We have to use everything we have as a young, talented team to uh, keep ourselves close in the games and try to compete and win the games in, 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 this, in this league. You can't just show up.